hey there welcome to bright engineering so today we are going to look at the linearity of a circuit so we are going to look at a question find v naught in the circuit if the source current is reduced to one micro amps right so we have a circuit where we have one amps as a source current and then we have to find this v naught if this current is supposed to change from this one amps to one micro amps right so what we have to do is to first of all find the value of this v naught using this one amps right so using that now we have to find the equivalent circuit or the equivalent resistance and we know that these two resistors are in series right so 2 plus 4 is going to give us 6 and these two are in parallel right so first of all we are going to get 6 in parallel with 6 which is going to give us 6 times 6 divided by 6 plus 6 right so we are getting 36 divided by 12 which is going to give us 12, 3 ohms right so we know that the equivalence of this is going to be 3 ohms and then these 3 ohms here as we, we would get would add it to this five because it's going to be in series with this five right so we are going to get eight and if we are getting eight here then it means that we can now apply our current divider rule to find the current that's going through this particular branch so our circuit is going to look like this So we have 8 here and then the equivalence of these is also going to give us 8 here and we have our 1 arm here right so it means that we can now use current divider rule to find the currents passing through this 8 ohms right so we say that is the opposite branch which is this 8 divided by the addition of the 2 multiplied by the current which is 1 arms and here we are going to get 0 0.5 arms right so we know that when we come here 0 0.5 amps is flowing through this particular circuit right so it means when it gets here then we have to perform another current divider rule right and we know that this is six the addition of these two is also going to give us six so we are going to get a circuit like this And the current that is flowing is this 0 0.5 amps right so in order to find the current flowing through this particular branch we are going to get the opposite branch divided by the addition of the two multiplied by the total current right and here our answer is going to give us 0 0.25 amps right so now we know that 0 0.25 amps is flowing through this particular branch and since with series resistors the current that flows through them are the same it's going to be the same 0 0.25 for the two right but when it gets here we know that the voltage drop across this particular two ohms is just is the current passing through this resistor times the resistance and we are going to get our v naught right so we know that our v naught is going to be our i times our r which is the 0 0.25 multiplied by the two and now our v naught is 0 0.5 volts right so now that we know our v naught this v naught is gotten as a result of this one arms right but then the question is saying that we should find v naught if the source current here is changed to one mu amperes right so ideally initially we could have changed this current to one mu ampere and then use it for our calculation and we would have gotten v naught all right but then we can also use this one to find our v naught here and when we get our v naught now we can use our linear transformation or linearity to get our answer right so when one arms is giving us 0 0.5 volts then it means that one micro amps which is 10 raised to the power minus 6 is going to give us what right so now we are getting 1 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 divided by 1 times this 0 0.5 volts right and when you point this into your calculator it is giving us 5 times 10 raised to the power negative 7 volts right which is the same as 500 nano volts right but then we can also try and then change this to change this to one micro arms to see if our calculation is correct right so ideally if we change this so the equivalence resistance is going to be the same so here we are going to get three here and the addition is going to be eight right but then here instead of this one we are going to multiply it by one new one micro arms right and the answer here is going to change to give us our equivalence current and we cannot use the same narrative to also solve for this and then we will derive at the same answer right right so now we are going to look at a different scenario where 
this time around we are not going to change the source current but then instead the v naught is rather going to be changed and then we have to use that one to solve to find the actual v naught right so in this scenario we are rather supposed to find the actual value of v naught assuming that v naught is equal to 5 right so this time around we have v naught here and we are saying that this v naught is going to be the value that we get as a result of this 15 volts but then what if we are assuming that v naught here is 5 then what is actually going to be the actual v naught for this 15 volts right so because we are rather giving v naught a value then it means that the source voltage can't be 15 but rather it has to change right so now i diagram is rather going to look like this So now here, instead of the 15, it's just going to be Vs because we don't know the value of Vs that is going to give us our v naught here, right? And here, the v naught is just 5 ohms, like the question said, right? So we can just bring our resistors here. Here is 6 ohms, and then here is 3, here is 6, and then here is 2, right? So with this, now we are going to use this v 5 volt to find our actual, the Vs, right? So now, when we have... A nodal voltage of 5 volts here then it means that we can find the current that is flowing here and then the current that is flowing here right so let's name this i1 and let's name this i2 right so we know that i is simply v over r right so in order to find i1 we know that i1 is the voltage which is this 5 divided by the resistance and since these two are in series we can just add them so we are getting 5 divided by 6 right and our value is just going to give us 0 0.83 right that same way we can find i2 and we know that i2 is also this voltage divided by this resistance which is the same as 5 divided by 6 right so we can say i2 is also going to give us the same value which is 0 0.83 amps right so now we can also find the current passing through this particular branch so let's name this i3 and we know from kcr that the amount of current that enters the node is the same as amount of current that leaves that node right so it means that i3 is the summation of i1 and then i2 right so i3 is simply i1 plus i2 now we know i1 and i2 is 0 0.83 each right so i3 is 0 0.83 plus 0 0.83 and our answer is 1.66 amps right so when we have 1.66 amps here to be the current then we can now find the voltage drop across this particular resistor because v is just ir right so our voltage drop across the three so v drop across three ohms is simply the three times the current which is the 1.66 and now our answer is going to give us five volts right so it means that we have five volts here and this node our voltage is 5 volts so what it means is that at this particular node our voltage now becomes 10 because it was 10 and then this 3 ohm resistor oh. dropped 5 out of it to give us the remaining 5 at this node right so it means that here the node our voltage is 10 instead so with this then now we can also find the current passing through here and then the current through this branch too right so it means that if you are finding the current through here we are going to get this voltage divided by this resistance right so let's name this i4 and let's name this i5 right so i4 is simply 10 divided by 6 and our answer is going to give us 1.66 amps right so for this now we have to also find the drop here because we know i4 and then i3 we said i3 is 1.66 i4 is 1.662 1, 1. right so now we can find i5 and here i5 is simply i4 plus i3 which is 1.66 plus 1.66 right which is equal to 3.33 right so now we know that i5 is 3.33 so it means if you have to multiply the i5 by these two you get the voltage drop across these two right so the voltage drop across two so v drop 
across two ohms is just 3.33 multiplied by 2 which is going to give us 6.66 volts right So when we have six points, when we have six point six eight volts, means that now we can find Vs, right? Because Vs dropped a voltage here for us to get this turn. So in order to find Vs, means that we have to add that voltage drop to this turn, right? So Vs is simply simply six point six six volts plus ten volts, and it's going to give us sixteen point six six volts, right? So now we know that at vs which is equal to 16.66 volts our v naught is equal to 5. so now we have to find the actual value for the v and for the v naught using the original equation or the original circuit right and the original circuit is telling us that the voltage here is 15 volts so it means that at 15 volts what is supposed to be our v naught right so we know that at 15 volts we don't know our v naught so it's just simply v 15 volts divided by the 16.66 volts times our 5 and our answer is going to give us 4.5 volts so at 15 volts our v naught is simply 4.5 volts right we can also decide to automatically change this to 4.5 and then see work it backwards to see if you're ideally going to get the 15 or we can also choose to use this 15 to solve for the voltage drop that we are going to get here all right so if this video has been helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you